Okay, so this isn't the video I thought I would be recording. And uh, I, I, I can already tell that this video is going to be uh, quite long. So uh, uh, I just want to say at the beginning that I'm okay. Everything is fine, uh, but, 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 yeah, let, 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 let me get into it. Uh, so, uh, earlier, uh, well, I guess it was last month, because it's now a new month, so, yeah, yeah, last month, um, uh, I, I go and get, uh, STD testing done, uh, even though I'm not currently sexually active, and, uh, you may be wondering why I did that, and, yeah, you know, I, I did it for fun. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, it was just, it's just because of everything uh, that has happened uh, in the, was in the, the past year. Uh, 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 I've had just what seems like one health issue. Uh, after another, uh, like like uh, last summer, uh, I I go into the doctor and get my ears flushed out, and like they find a little plastic ring in my ear uh, that has been there for probably a year. Yeah, that was something. And then uh, this winter, uh, I got really sick, and uh, the, that that was probably food poisoning. Uh, yeah, yeah, I uh, had uh, some undercooked chicken that that I made for myself. That there's some lasting symptoms with that that uh, took took a while to go away and then also I, I noticed that um, I have these white bumps on my eye around my eyes I don't know if you can see it see yeah right there and then uh, there's also one on my eyelid and then some others around this this eye, but they're, they're really small, so I don't think you can see these, but yeah, definitely that one, and oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I noticed those popping up uh, recently, and uh, yeah, and uh, uh, I talked to my doctor about them, and, and he, he said they're, they're harmless, uh, I forget their exact name, but they're they're basically just like like clog pores and and like like acne basically and and that they you can get get them to go away with with a, a good face wash, but. Uh, it, it takes a long time for them to go away. So yeah, yeah, I'm stuck with them for a while. But yeah, but yeah, these this helps helps issues just just uh, kept kept happening like almost back to back uh, to each other, and I, I'm just not used to. Uh, getting sick so often. 
Yeah, I'm basically used to just getting like like a cold uh, once, maybe twice a year, which which I actually just had a cold uh, at the end of March. I got a head and chest cold. And yeah, that's more what I'm used to. Not, not all the other uh, health issues. So yeah, I, I was just thinking like, wow, what else could be wrong with me? Uh, and, and also, uh, like with, with my, my last job, they uh, offered free hepatitis vaccines. Yeah, and I took advantage of that, but hepatitis is uh, uh, considered an STD, but you can get it other ways besides sex. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what, what put the, the thought of me getting STD tested uh, in, in my mind in the first place. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, I, I get SD tested at my, my doctor's, my, my primary doctor, and, and what, when I was there, he, he asked me, so what, uh, STDs are we testing for, and, and I'm like, I, I don't know, all of them? Uh, yeah, but, but we, we ended up just doing the, the, the uh, most common ones. So, yeah, I did uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, and hepatitis. No, not hepatitis. Herpes, yes. And that or H. Well, word. So, yeah. Yeah, those four I did. And... And you know, about about a week after the testing, uh, I get the results over the phone, and uh, if they're negative, uh, except for herpes. So yeah, that that one came back positive. So yeah, uh, that that the. Uh, that, that kind of affected me. Yeah, not in a good way. But uh, yeah, I, I just immediately uh, uh, go online and search for information about herpes. And I'm going through I'm going through all these uh, uh, web pages, try, yeah, and trying to make sure they're like uh, good uh, info and not, and not bad. But, uh, but I, I eventually come to the CD, CDC's website, and on it, it uh, uh, it talks about herpes and it says that the CDC does not recommend testing people for herpes if they are not showing symptoms. Uh, in part due to the accuracy of the test. Well, that's just fucking great. Oh, great. I'm not showing symptoms at all so now now i'm wondering if it's if it's a false positive uh if, if it was a mistake or something so i i i decided to get retested but uh, i go somewhere else uh besides my doctors i uh end up going to uh planned parenthood uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I know they do good work, 
uh, with sexual health. And, and, and yeah, and I go there and uh, uh, I actually end up talking to a, a nurse and the doctor. Or, yeah, 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 I think she was a doctor. Or, or a, like some counselor type of doctor, I think she was. But, but yeah, both of them were explaining about the testing. And yeah, they were telling me that uh, for the blood tests they do for people who don't have symptoms, that actu actually doesn't uh, test for the virus itself, it, the test um, just determines if you have herpes antibodies in your blood. And if you have herpes antibodies, that does not mean that you have the herpes virus. You know what that is? Do you know what that is? Great. That's just fucking great! Yeah, they go on explaining that it's it's really impossible for you for them to tell uh, whether or not someone has uh, the herpes virus unless they start showing symptoms. Uh, yeah, if they show symptoms like like a cold sore. Uh, yeah, then they they swab the cold sore, and then they they test for the virus, and then that will give you a, a definitive uh, answer of whether or not you have herpes or not. Whereas the blood test does not give you a definitive answer. Uh, having herpes antibodies. Uh, means that you might have been exposed to the virus, but you didn't catch it. Herpes is another uh, STD that can spread with, without sex. Uh, well, like, yeah, if you touch, touch a cold sore you have, and then you touch someone else, it can, the herpes virus can spread from skin to skin contact. They also tell me that it's estimated that the, the majority of all Americans have herpes antibodies in their bloodstream. So because of that, you know, Planned Parenthood doesn't uh, recommend testing people for herpes unless they show signs of signs or symptoms of it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so uh, I ended up not getting retested. If they said most likely it would, the test would come back positive again, and there's, there's no other way to do a test unless I have uh, any signs or symptoms. So, I, yeah, I didn't get retested, but. Uh, yeah, but it's just, just wow. Yeah, I, w I wish I had known all of that before getting tested. Yeah, 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 and she, yeah. And the the doctor even said she she wishes that that I could go back in time and not get the test done because that then I wouldn't have gone through all of this. And yeah, 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 it's just like a lot to go through and it was pointless, uh, really, because all, all that I found out was I'm with the majority of Americans. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I went through all that, and, and yeah, I'm glad, glad I know 
the information now, but I, yeah, I wish I had known it sooner to avoid going through all this. And, and I already have enough uh, uh, what, lifetime illnesses. Yeah, because I've got uh, you know, autism and anxiety and also the, the GERD, the bad acid reflux. Yeah, yeah, those, those I'm stuck with for the, the rest of my life. And so I don't, I don't need any other diseases or viruses or illnesses that, that uh, are like, time and incurable and I mean now that I know you know I'm, I'm negative for chlamydia and gonorrhea and HIV and most likely negative for herpes it's uh, like a, a big well maybe not a big but just a weight off of me so now, now I don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I can focus on other stuff. Yeah, I wish I could have avoided all this. Uh, Cause yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just not good for me. And uh, I do also want to, uh, like give a shout out to Planned Parenthood. Uh, this video is not not sponsored in any way by them, but I, I, I do want to thank them uh, for the valuable information that they gave me. Uh, so yeah, my doctor didn't really give me any information. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was basically just just some pamphlets they said they could send to me uh, about herpes, but, but yeah, it was it was nothing like like uh, the all of the detailed facts that I got from Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful to them. Yeah, so I, I know this video is, is already really long, so. Uh, I'm just going to uh, stop it here. So, uh, yeah, until next video, goodbye.